What's up everybody, it's VR Gamer Dude here, and tonight we are going back on the bridge, and this time we're gonna take along my good friend Sean, aka Sad Gamer Dad. Um, really excited to play with this guy. He, he We've been conversing back and forth on Facebook Messenger for a while now. Uh, he's got a great YouTube channel, and I'll throw the link in the description. I want you guys to go check that out. But uh, yeah, he's gonna be the, uh, the Spock to my Kirk tonight. So, all right, let's jump in there and let's get on the bridge and let's see a little bit more of Star Trek Bridge Crew. Hello, hello. <laughs> hey, what's up, Don? What's going on, Sean? So, is this your game or my game? You know, I think it's your game because you invited me in. Because I invited you, and then it said I could uh, join you, and it kind of went back and forth. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, it's 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 both of our game. We're in here, so it's whatever goes. So you got the Vulcaneers going on. That's great because you know I, I am recording, so yes, I did sir. a little intro and said you were going to be the Spock to my Kirk tonight. So all right, all right. So let's see here. So you you just got the game recently i just got the game this is my third time to play yes okay fantastic so here we go all right um let's see here what role do you want to take sir looks like you are the captain so oh heck i don't want to be the captain no <laughs> you don't want to be the captain okay that's that's too much pressure i'm thinking ta tactical or uh engineer okay well well i am always glad to sit in the captain's seat so I'll go for tactical. That sounds that sounds like my alley. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get this on here. Tactical. Okay, tactical. It is. There we go. And I've got captain. All right. So do we want to go ahead and do campaign, or do you want to do ongoing? Um... And it's your choice. I figured um, you had more experience than yeah, I, so sure. I'm I'm sure willing to sit, do what the captain says. All right. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and start out with a little just straight campaign here. So, all right. Here we go. Captain's log, stardate 2258.161. My crew is assembled, and we're preparing to disembark on our expedition to the trench. Before we depart, however, Starfleet Command has asked us to complete one final exercise to confirm the Aegis's fitness for the mission ahead and undoubtedly to test the readiness of her captain and crew. Okay, so here we are on the bridge. So it looks like right. we are going to be once again doing the infamous Kobayashi Maru. So answer this hail here. Opening channel. Aegis, we have a freighter coming into dock and we've, uh, we've had a little trouble lately with smugglers trafficking invasive species. On your way out, I think it'd be best for um, everyone if you could just verify the ship isn't carrying any wildlife. Uh, like Tribbles, maybe? Because it's uh, Station K-7. Yeah. The trouble with Tribbles. Nice. Yes. Well, that's that's what this is. This is uh, Station <laughs> K-7. Uh, you know, Sean, I am, I am a life long trekker i mean i i've been watching star trek since i was about seven years old see we're, we're forging new ground here because i'm a, I'm a star Wars guy but my dad was a huge trekkie so okay i've, right I've, I've got it in my blood <laughs> yeah you know you know i've got i've got love for both but you know deep in my heart if i could be anywhere it would be on this bridge so well actually right actually if here i could be are. anywhere i would be on picard's bridge in the ncc 1701d hey ubisoft dlc please thank you <laughs> um, so um all right so let's see we need to get a scan on the ragusa here so let's Great. go ahead and get her targeted what kind of scan you want <laughs> um let, just let's just get a standard scan all right standard scan running there you go thank you and should be completing here any time now i actually have a tribble somewhere I, i've got a, a couple closet of, somewhere i got a couple of them <laughs> on my desk yeah i got them from uh, loot nice. crate uh i got them i got one from loot crate and then a friend at work got the same loot crate and he was like oh my god you're a star trek nut here have it so, so I've got a pair of them in the office. 
And just don't 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 let them eat any grain or they'll breed. I'm gonna show my true nerd tonight. So But but do you have any tattoos on your body? I do not. I do not. See, I, I've got I've got a Star Trek tattoo, so I got you one up, man. Okay, that's cool. You know, <laughs> I'm a Star Wars Star Wars tattoo. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, I've actually always considered getting the uh, com badge insignia on my chest, <laughs> like that. Perfect. Yeah, I think I think that'd be good. Co- cosplay ready. Yeah, You're around, exactly. Right? <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't I didn't bust out the full uniform tonight, but I do have my captain's shirt on, so you know, nice. I'm showing a little Star Trek love. And you know, just just like I said uh, while we were doing the intro, just in case you didn't know, I am recording this, so I don't know if you were recording as well, but uh, I figured, what the hell, get some more Star Trek up on the channel. There we go. I think we Six. finally Detect completed. Any unusual life forms aboard the freighter, Captain. I'll let K7 know the ship's clean. Thank you. All right, so we need to warp to Gamma Hydra here. So let's go ahead and... There we go. Oh, I'm going to set a destination. Gamma Hydra it is. Would you like for me to raise the shields, Captain? Uh, not yet, sir. Not yet. Um, we do not have any Klingons hanging around Uranus, so. Hi, Captain. Okay. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good thing. Warp course is set. Lining up for warp. I do like the fact that you can control the other stations. We're on vector for warp. On your mark, Captain. Okay. What's your vector, Victor? All right. <laughs> Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Yeah, over under. Okay. And warp speed. Engage. All right. Sock. Sock them, we're here. Yep, we got it. Okay. So, waiting for my objectives to update here. I'm picking up a distress signal, Captain. Okay. USS Aegis. My vessel has lost all power and our life support systems are nearly exhausted. We have a crew of six. I request that you take us aboard your ship as soon as possible. Okay, let's go ahead and get a lock on them. And I'll bring us into range of the target here. We are currently out of scan range, Captain. Okay, bringing us in now. I've taken over the helm. You know, this, I don't know if you played it back in the day, but this so when you're when you're playing single player, this almost reminds me of a very very souped up bridge crew, uh, bridge commander. Okay, I have not played that one. Old school. Uh, set, Old school. Set in the next generation, uh, but yeah, you could actually take control of all the systems uh it was really cool love the way the ship flies as the helm though yeah i noticed it was as easy uh nice and smooth and easy to to control right. i was a little intimidated at first but once i practiced in starfleet i was good to go yeah right on okay i think you should be coming in the scanning range now all right would you like to scan for Particular object or all things? Uh, just go ahead and get a scan on the uh, Talon. Okay, scanning all categories. Okay, and then once we get a scan on that, we're going to want to go ahead and beam those six out. Also love the outside view. Very nice. Yeah, it really gives you an idea of where you are. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Immersiveness. Helps with the immersiveness. Scan complete. Okay, let's go ahead and beam them up. Okay, selecting transport target. And getting a lock. 20 second T minus. Thank you. One is locked. Two is locked. T minus 10. 
Five seconds. Aye, aye, Captain. Throttle to zero. I'll stop. Okay, ready to transport, I guess. Beam them aboard. Here we go. Now see what I think would be really awesome if they actually beamed in right next to us over here. You know, I was thinking I was thinking <laughs> the exact same thing. I was like, man, that would be right, really cool. Like, right over here. Just like yeah. right over there and he just hung well, out. Like have him beam in and then have somebody come through that door and escort them out. I mean, man, you want to talk about being more immersive. Maybe give them some, a window washer. They can go wash the window for you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> well, considering it's not actually glass, you know, I, I think that might be a little hard. Uh, that, that actually should be a force shield. So, okay. Open answering. Answering hail. Captain, we've lost contact with one of our survey vessels, the USS Nicholson. You're the closest ship to their last known position. We need you to locate the vessel and render any aid they may need. We're sending their last coordinates to you now. Starfleet out. Okay. Okay, now if I was Admiral Akbar, wrong game, wrong, wrong world, but it's a trap. It's a, <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> No, I tell you, they, they, I, I'm, I'm desperately wanting a, a really good Star Wars game as well. Uh, I, oh, I, me too. I, man, I, you know, I, I'm really hoping, I mean, it's a slight hope, but I'm really hoping we hear some some good VR news out of Battlefront 2. So, That'd be great. Oh, yeah. Did you ever get a chance to play that one I was streaming that other night? The, uh, the Indoor? I have not. Oh, it's, need, it's on my to-do list. You need to check it out, man. It is Funny it is course. really, really cool. Okay. And let's set it. Oh, I did set a warp distance. Oh, impulse. I'm sorry. I understood. Diverting power for impulse. Plotting impulse course. Thank you. Course laid in, Captain. Hi, Captain. Staying with them. I like how he just goes when you say go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's just like, blam! Now, Regardless now, whether it's a straight line, he just, boom, he's off. Yeah. Now, I'm sure, I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm sure you've heard the big news that was announced a couple of weeks ago about this game. What was that? Um, that this will be the first ever game to incorporate IBM Watson. So, oh. yes, here, here okay. in a while, awesome. what, what that means is we're literally, you could play this solo and I could have natural conversations with every one of these AIs. So oh, wow. you're going to have a fully AI driven crew that can respond to natural. So, you know, I played a lot of Elite Dangerous all the way back to like the uh, DK2 days. And I, I love using voice attack, but you have to memorize like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of different commands. With Watson, right. we're, we're going to be able to naturally speak to these AI characters and have them speak back to us. I mean, it, it's really going to start oh, wow. to get us into an uncanny valley situation. So that is awesome. Yeah, really excited for that. Really excited for that. Hi, following the target. Ensign, hey, this is the same guy I had in Starfleet. I'm pretty sure. Ensign <laughs> uh, Rowe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go over and take his station for a minute. You know, the only thing that I, I really am kind of pissed about with this game is, is that they didn't use the actual pointing feature of the touch controllers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, is it like you still have to actually click a button, click the button, do the trigger. Yeah, I know. I should be able to actually like, you know, smash buttons on this console. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of a bummer. And we can't do a thumbs up. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah, I noticed that too. All I can do is point. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and impulse she over. They went that away. Yes. <laughs> Make it so. Make it so. Number one. Number one, I command you to do a number two. Send yes. Back. Exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, Beavis. Fire, fire. <laughs> fire, oh, fire. I'm ready to fire. Ready to fire. 
Uh, you said fire. I love the sound of that drive, though. That's pretty yeah. sweet. No, I do. Okay. Okay, mines. All right, tactical, let's go ahead and target those mines and take them out. Anything that gets close to us, just go ahead and shoot it. Okay, so you'd rather just take them out. The environment sure. The it gives you something to do. We are, however, detecting pockets of plasma coolant. Oh, we're out of range of both targets. No, coming into range now. I think we need to be within 10. Kalam. KMs. There we go. Nice. First fire. Target one destroyed. Take them out. Target nice. two destroyed. Nice shooting text. Plasma coolant A is okay. being scanned. Thank you, sir. Transferring analysis to your panel, Captain. Okay. Always quiet in this part of space. Okay. Very good. Let's go ahead and get a scan on coolant B. Will it be scanning? Sensors are detecting a distress beacon. Oh, speaker. out of range. We are at 35. Okay. I guess it looks like a civilian vessel needs assistance as well. Closing in on target now. I'm, I'm thinking it's 25 km. On screen. Aegis, according to nope. my engineer, our engines are locked in some sort of malfunction cycle. If we could temporarily override Scanning plasma. Them, I think we can fix the problem. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and get a scan on that, and let's go ahead and target the Beltane and disrupt our engines. Okay. We're just... sending new data to your panel, Captain. Aye, Approaching the Beltane stand. now. All right, out of range for a scan on the Beltane. Okay, coming into we range need shortly. About 10, 10 km closer. Okay, we're entering the nebula now. Go ahead and s yeah, we're out of range on that. Long range scanner, she does not have to. <laughs> yeah, we can probably hold on. Let me see if I can get. Um, let me take over engineering and see if I can boost your. Scanner. Boost up my. Yeah, capability. Boost your, boost your scanner range. range. There. And she's got to be within 10 km, I guess. That's yep. I can scan now. Scanning Beltane. So I hear the AI helm will tend to crash into stuff. I, I haven't. Hey, like, like right there. Did. <laughs> yeah, like right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Ensign Row, you're drunk. You're drunk flying here, buddy. Okay. Hey, I did. I paid attention to Starfleet, Row. I'll stop. Bring her to full stop. Okay. Let's go ahead and disrupt the Beltane's engines. Selecting engines. Warning. Exceeding ship tolerance. Exceeding ship tolerance. He says. Balance. Nice. Balancing power. Thank you. All right. System scan target. And you want to do the Come system up. intrusion after that scan. Yeah, she won't let me. Are we not in range? We should be in range. Belkin is uh, not giving you the scan option. It's giving me uh, no option to scan. That's kind of weird. Um, strange, Captain. Strange. Okay, stand by. Target the Beltane. No option to scan engines. I've got it. I'm going to go ahead and disrupt the engines now from the helm. Just like that fixed it. We should be able to take it from here. Thanks for your help. You probably just saved all our lives. No problem, Beltane. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back and scanning coolant C. I'm going to go ahead and get you in range here. Hi, Captain. 
Okay, system intrusion. There we go. Yeah, it's on your it's on your left panel. Yeah, and this is the shared, so I have to be careful with anyone else using it. Well, considering it's just me, you, and two AIs, and I can't do system intrusion from here, or at least I haven't found a place that I can, I think I'll leave that oh. in your capable Entry hands there. Detected. Okay, we're about to enter the anomaly again. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I, whoa! whoa. Raise, raise shields, Captain. I was about to suggest raising shields. My lord. Okay, um, I've, ra I've raised shields just in case we contact another anomaly. Okay, thank you. I think we just skirted the edge of one. Plasma coolant within range to scan, Captain. Okay, initiate that scan now. Running scan. All stop. I believe our lost ship is showing on sensors now, Captain. We're being hailed. Eden, this is the USS Nicholson. Our vessel is severely damaged and leaking radiation. Most of my crew escaped, but a few of us are trapped in a forward compartment. I need you to transport us off the ship. And then... Okay, so let's go ahead and get a lock on those survivors and beam them aboard. Okay, getting, getting a scan of life signs on the Nicholson. Oh, we are slightly out of range. 17.8 okay. 7. km. Bringing us into range now. Following the target. Moving out of the anomaly. Initiating scan, Captain. Scanning for life signs. Very good. Found six on board. Okay, go ahead and bring those guys aboard. All right. All stop. Aye. Lowering shields. Getting a lock on target scan or target transport. 15 seconds. 10. Five. Initiating transports. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, destroy the Nicholson, please. We can't let that fall into enemy hands. Okay. Locking, locking target, raising shields. Whoa, what happened? I have no idea. Did I? What has happened? <laughs> Oh, I think we may have been within too too close a distance to the uh, Nicholson. Okay. And taken taken damage from its warp drive. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and impulse out to section ten. Okay. So that's what happened. It backfired. <laughs> we're gonna be skirting the edge of the neutral zone here. Is there a fight? <laughs> we're showing for it, Captain. This would be good use for the transport that we brought over from the Nicholson. Yes, absolutely. Put out the fires. They should terminate those wires up there in the ceiling while they're at it. A little IT humor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, okay, why are we not standing I like the spark on. coming out the front of my console. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. Your feet are probably roasting too from that fire down there. <laughs> Hopefully I got fire suppressive shoes. Flooding course. I understood. Powering engines so, for impulse. Making ready for impulse. 
So any idea how many ongoing missions there are? Uh, no, it's, it's actually, I believe it's supposed to be just randomly generated. Okay, just randomly, procedurally generated. I, I think the intent cool. is, is, you know, once you finish the campaign missions here, it's so that you can keep playing and keep going. Now, the one thing I haven't done is I haven't taken a spin in the original Enterprise yet. See, I'm wondering if, you know, I think a lot of people are wondering if this is going to be, you know, like people will get burned out, they'll play it so hardcore for a few months and then it'll, it'll kind of lose some of its user base. Yeah. I, I know there's been a lot of talk on Reddit about that. You know, I, I really think it just depends on how Ubi plays it. I mean, if they, if they continually update the game with new missions and, you know, like I said, DLC would be great. I would love and I would, I would pay for other bridges. I would pay for the NCC 1701D Picard ship. The E, Voyager. All that kind of stuff? Yeah, absolutely. You know? Okay, here we go. Okay, the so Kobayashi Maru. the unwinnable scenario, and I, you know, I did not reprogram the simulator, so, um, all right, I think we got to go try to rescue him. Hi, Captain. Works for me. Okay, let's do it. I see. Can I jump over to the NARS place? Yeah, you Ooh. can. Yeah, you can jump can. into any station that's not occupied. I'm going to jump over here and see how the ship looks. How she on repairs. I'll tell you, so far, other than other than Captain, my favorite is actually Helm. I, I love flying the ship. I'll stop. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh! Whoa! Oh! What did we hit? Was that uh, a mine? We, hit we, a mine. we did hit a mine. All right, maybe I jumped over to engineering too quickly. Aye, aye, Captain. Following the target. Well, we're looking good on everything but the warp core. Everything is 100%. Okay. Warp, uh, but the warp core is at 74%, power reduced. It's okay. What we're doing, we don't need a lot of warp. Um, so we are looking pretty good. I do need to target that mine, though. Bring up this overlay of the ship. No, I got him. Okay, there we go. We got a clear path to the Kobayashi Maru. And we have now crossed into the neutral zone. I'm going to go ahead I've and... I've got a bad feeling about this, sir. Red alert. <laughs> From the looks of our bridge, we are not too battle ready here. I'm going back to tactical. I would recommend it. Shields are up. Torpedoes are armed. Okay. okay. All right. When we come in range, let's go ahead and get a scan of the Kobayashi Maru. We are in scan range for life science. Scanning for life signs. Okay, stay frosty, everybody. We have found 381 on board. All right, Captain. Be begin transport. Lowering shields. Inbound hostiles inbound. Hostiles are inbound, sir. Initiating first transport. Okay, once we get those guys 15. on board, raise that shields. 10. Staying with them. Target inbound within 7K. They're targeting the Kobayashi Maru. So yes, far, they are. they are ignoring us. Following the target. Getting a lock again on the transport. Ten seconds. Oh, 
Hull's at 79% on the Maru. Okay. Once you get these next set of survivors, let's go ahead and turn our attention to that Klingon Warbird, please. All right. Raising shields, targeting Klingon. Cruiser D5 within 8 km. Fire phasers. Would you like for me to... All right, would you like for me to do a scan and or just attack? No, just attack. Oh, they know we're here. Hostile contacts detected. Okay, we have two more Klingons. Enemy vessel inbound. Yes, we do. Hull integrity. Oh, nice. I was in the outside view right when one of those D5s flew right over our bow. Oh, that was awesome. We have one at 70% shields. Okay. Would you like for me to run a scan on anything to attack? No. Fire, at, fire, fire. at will. Fire at will. Firing phasers. Torpedoes are armed and ready. Fire photons. Photons away. Nice, that's a kill. Target destroyed. We are within scan range on the other targets. Don't worry about scanning, just keep firing. Target the firing lead. Burst. Target the lead vessel, full photon spread. Photons ready to fire. Fire. Hostile vessel inbound. Firing photons. Helm, bring us around. Okay, we now have four Klingons. Yep. Actually, yeah, four. Tactical fire at will. Firing. Oh. Firing everything. Congratulations. Given her all she's firing. got, Captain. I'm firing everything we have. Simulation. I know it's not easy to face a no-win situation like that. But it's a necessary test. Yeah, it sucked. This out. it sucked. It sucked. It sucked facing that situation. I idea now of the decisions you'll make when there's no obvious right answer. Based I thought we were doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think we did all right. The Aegis for Operation Distant Shore. I'm our heal, our, uh, lead the expedition our shields were at twenty <laughs> percent. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't think we could take very much more. Uh, okay. Spark. All right, very good. That was pretty cool, man. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. Hey, upgraded. I've been promoted. What, what rank Lieutenant, are you? Lieutenant right. Junior Grade. All right, I'm Lieutenant, so making my way to Captain here. So let's see here. Let's give a rundown here. So uh, looks like everything was successful except for violation of the neutral zone and rescue of the Kobayashi Maru which obviously we were going to have to violate the neutral zone to rescue the Kobayashi Maru. So, okay, so let's go ahead and just for the heck of it, because I have not done it yet, let's go ahead and do one of the ongoing voyages in the original Enterprise. All right, now we're going back to the day. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's, let's kick it old school. I, I said this you were going to be the Spock to my Kirks, and we can't do that unless we're on the 1701, so. Whee! Get the ears going. Yeah, yeah right there. Tweak them. Right on. Yeah, see, I was I was actually, like, mad because I was like, I can't even give, like, a Vulcan peace symbol. I can't even, like, do the whole, <laughs> yeah. It's like, come on, you should have programmed a button. Yeah. Uh, you should have programmed a button. Line. All right, fine. You kids and your, vir your goofballs, and get off my virtual lawn. Exactly. God damn it. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and pick a roll if you don't mind, sir. All right. I'm going to go for engineer this time. Okay. So let's see here. 
We have all missions, defend missions, recover missions, rescue missions, research missions. Um, yeah, okay, so you were asking about this. So it looks like if you do the ongoing missions, it says continue your adventures with dynamic missions that change each time you play. Each time. So, all right, very cool. All right. All right, let's do awesome. it. Awesome sauce, man. Love that model. Captain's log, supplemental. Our delivery of supplies to the research facility will have to wait. We've picked up a weak signal from a distress beacon and are investigating now. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh this, right. is, this is awesome. Okay. Yeah, because I have Whoa. not been on this bridge yet. Wow. Oh, this is like my childhood, man. Back over here. <laughs> yeah, no, I see you over there. I'm over there in the cheap seats. <laughs> yeah, in the cheap seats. There you go. <laughs> what, what did you choose? Did you choose engineering or did you choose... I'm an engineer, yeah. Engineering. Yeah. Okay. Oh, how cool. When you're the captain, you actually have to pick up the tablet. Okay, so I have to look up above me at my screen. So this is... My screen is view is up here. My buttons are down here. Oh, that's interesting. It's, this okay. is this is old tech, man. <laughs> yeah. No, this is straight up. I'm gonna have to like turn on the like like little cheat things here. Yep, me too. Overlay. Yeah, there cheat. we go. Because I don't know what all the little jewels do. <laughs> they they are color coded for category. It looks like. Yeah, they are. I can see that. My shields are green. My engines are orange. Okay. Uh, repairs are blue. I don't even know what the hell is going on, man. Okay. If you're colorblind, you're screwed, man. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, interesting. So when I select it, instead of like having it on the display, it actually puts it up on the main view screen. Exiting anomaly. And that is a tiny screen compared to the Aegis. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's like IMAX versus home, home cinema. Yeah, there you go. Which one of these makes popcorn? I don't know. Yeah, they all look like gummy gummy uh, candy to me. You know, I gotta yeah, say, I just though, take them off here and eat them. compared to the Aegis, though, I really, I can say, I don't know that I'm going to be able to do as much here. Because... I, I have... I've read that this is way tougher of a ship than the Aegis in the yeah, game. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can tell you right now it already is. Like, the Aegis, everything felt so natural. You know, this is like I'm struggling to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Okay, so it looks like we need to warp to the Devon system. So where is my... I will need to charge warp coils. Warp map. There we go. Warp map. Devon is set. Let's play a view screen. Holy crap, this is like old school, straight out of... 60s TV. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I'm digging it. I am digging it. Don't get me wrong. It's just I'm this like I have no idea what the hell to do here. This is for the really hardcore to get into. I'm ready. Okay. okay, so I've got the warp map up. How do I actually select something? Okay, I can prepare warp. Okay, no, I can't prepare warp. It does nothing. <laughs> charging warp coils. Oh, I'm charging warp coils. Oh, sweet, sweet. Okay. We're getting somewhere. I'm gonna take over the helm and see what's going. Oh my god! Warp coils are charged, Captain. Okay, how how do I go to warp? <laughs> I can prepare warp, but I don't know. I don't know that that does anything. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, no warp destination. See, okay, so see, I've got the warp map up here, but I don't know how to actually select from it. Because it's up on the main um, view screen. How do you select target? Imminent. Maybe from the pad here? Okay, we're, oh, yeah, we're, yeah, yeah, dis okay. we're discharging. Okay, hold on. Ah, oh, we've lost our charge. That's okay. Because your captain is a complete noob on this bridge, and I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. You seem to hit a time travel anomaly, Captain. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so Devon's system is selected. 
And it says... Warp to the Devon system. So it looks like Devon is selected. I've got next target, previous target. Oh, okay. I figured it out. There uh -huh. we go. Confirm selection. Okay, that's how you do it. Hi highly logical. Yeah, very <laughs> much so. Okay, go ahead and charge those warp corals. Warp corals charging. Laid in, lining up for warp vector. Warp coils charged. All right, Rogue, get us, get us there, buddy. There we go. Hey, I actually have a view now. I can see the ship. Yeah, hey. I just changed the view. On your mark. And mark. Aye, aye, Captain. Yay! We went somewhere. <laughs> okay. So. After the commercial break, here we are. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, let's go ahead and. Increase the signal through these relay booms, Captain. Yeah, this, okay, is, this one is definitely harder. Yeah, it is. Wow. I've got like analog meters in front of me. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we're here. Now we want to go ahead and re scan the relay buoy. Okay. I don't see a damn relay buoy. Let me jump over to, to uh, tactic. We've got Urbos, Outer Devlin Station, Devon. Atera. Oh wow, this is hardcore too. <laughs> That's what I was saying, man. This is okay. I'm digging the hell out of this bridge, but you are not kidding. This is straight up for the hardcore. Um, I think you really need to cut your teeth in the Aegis before you come on to the uh, original Enterprise here. Okay, oh, previous okay, target, uh, next target. Here we go. Local map. Got it. Space Station, Stellar Power Array, Buoy 1. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, got Buoy 1 selected. Confirmed. I think I'm ready to scan it. Go ahead and scan, please. Hey, it's working! Oh, I'm loving the old timey sound effects, too. Okay. I'm picking up an unidentified signal, Captain. Okay. Update the chart of our operational area. Okay, we gotta trace so, the, trace the signal back to the source. Ro and I have a shared view here. Security is getting antsy about that last request. We should get on it soon. Don't get out of line, Ro, or I'll smack you. Yeah, exactly. Smack him. Right. Or I can give him a wet wheelie. It's about all, all I can do right now. There you go. Okay. So. I love the click sound. Yeah, me too. Because <laughs> it's all it's analog. Like old, yeah, it's like the old IBM keyboards. <laughs> click, click, click. So cool. Fully restored. All repairs completed. Okay, so how are we supposed to trace the signal? How do I even know if the shields are up or down? I mean, I, I, they gotta be up, but how do I even know if they're down? I don't even know what's going on, man. Oh, there they are. There's something over there. Tactical. I have to look at that board. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, I can see. Shields off. Um, Shields are off. Scan is in range. Did we ever scan that buoy? Um, I think I thought I did. Let me try to mark it. How do 
Oh, I know what I'm actually targeting. <laughs> Over here. Bowie, Bowie. Um, I thought we scanned it. Yeah, it's been scanned. It has been it's scanned. Not tell okay. I guess it's not telling me it hasn't been scanned. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's approach it. Man, this is so scary not seeing where you're going. Oh, I know. A little freaked out. It's like fly by wire yeah. here. So the only outside, this is the only outside view we have. Well, I mean, obviously, if you hit your, uh, you have to, you have to set it. Well, no, I've got, I've got a target view, magnify. We've out there we go. Okay. There's our buoy. There's the buoy. Still don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do though. I mean, it says we're supposed to. Can I touch the board? Trace the hell signal no. back to its source. <clears throat> So, okay, wait. Um, travel to the Dev Devon region. Scan results will point us to a new destination. Scan the relay buoy, but it's still showing, so... And you can't... Scan, scan. done. Scan is done. I see that up there. Okay. Right. Well, Here's where point comes in handy. Well, see, I don't... I, all I see is scan, and it doesn't... It just says in range. Hold on. Target is already scanned. Okay. Um. Man, Sean, what? I have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to do here. I am right there with you, sir. And it just says tra trace signal back to source on local map. All right. Well, I guess let's just scan everything. Scan it all. Yeah. Let's scan the space station. Aye, aye. Approaching target. Space station. Guess I'm not within range yet. No, I'm approaching the target now. Coming about. As soon as I find the actual range uh, meter. Well, we're about 9.5 oh. kilometers. Oh, here it is. It's on my uh, my very analog-looking screen. We've arrived. Oh, sc scan done. We have scanned it already. Okay. We've scanned the station. Apparently. Said scan done. What? Uh, stellar power array is within range and has not been scanned. All right, let's do it. Scan that bad boy. Scanning. And that is done. Okay. Okay, you're scanning a second stellar power array. Scan all three of them. This scan is fast. Maybe it's just me. Wait, what was that noise? I do not know, sir. But it gave me a frighten. Yes, it did. <laughs> it gave you a frighten. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we've scanned everything in this godforsaken system here. And it still Aye, sir. is telling me. It's still telling me that we have not completed travel to the Devon region. Well, maybe we're just not in the right spot. Maybe that was it. Maybe it uh, updated it and we need to go somewhere else. Well, we, we are ahead of, of uh, the logistics. There game. we go. That's why. All right. Yep, Devon region. All right, let me jump back to engineer. Or yeah. she's got it. Tanar. Tanar. Tanar, you got this. Alright. I prefer firing weapons anyway. It's my thing. I like to blow shit up. Yep, blowing <laughs> shit up is cool. <laughs> Make things become small things. Okay. Let's go ahead and... That's what we do out here in Texas. Where are you at in Texas, man? 
I am up by Amarillo, okay. the very, very, very top. All right. Well, I was born. Cow. Yeah, I was born in Kingsville. Grew up in Corpus Christi. Awesome. Uh, lived most of my adult life in Austin. Until awesome. I, until I came to misery. Well, you you left what became the tech capital of Austin of uh, Texas the last ten year, fifteen oh, years. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> I was I was down in Austin when like Dell, IBM, and Apple were moving in. Um, it's supposed to be the new Silicon Valley, you know, the Texas. <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. Now, if I could get my wife to move back, man, I'd be happier than a clam. I miss it. I need a Whataburger, like stat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, only I, you, only you I, would understand that if you're in Texas. So. I, I am but a short drive from said Whataburger. Yeah. Oh, you, know, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you need to go to Whataburger now and get me like a double bacon Whataburger with some onion rings, <laughs> and you need to freeze dry that shit and ship it to me in Missouri. Freeze dry and ship it. <laughs> so I'm telling you, man, I'm dying, dying up here. Okay, so we need to we need to go there. So I'm gonna take over Helm for a minute. Oh my God. <laughs> What the crap? That bad, huh? I mean, there is just shit everywhere. You know, from my view, you're just looking at a freaking jeweled, jeweled checkerboard. That's all it looks like you're pushing on. Yeah, seriously, it's like a light bright. Yeah, you're just playing some light bright over there. Exactly. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> this is wild. Okay, apply the course. Engage the damn impulse engines. Um, where's my thingy <laughs> to make it go? You know, I would like to see a spectator mode for this game. Where you could follow a crew of four on their ongoing journey. Yeah, no, that would be really and cool. Maybe, and maybe put it in the gear, and then you could just sit in the gear and watch people. Oh, no, that would be do awesome. The, do their journeys. Okay. I don't know, I don't know if the gear would handle that, but... <laughs> Oh, that's cool how those lit up as I increase speed. So you've got the... Nice. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you see it? Do, 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 do. Yeah. Okay, so I still cool. can't... I mean, if I do it this way, it's going to take us like forever to get there. But it won't let me engage the impulse. In... All right, let me go back to Captain here. Let's see, engineer have anything to do with impulse? I, all I can do is charge the warp coils. Go back. Well, it seems like I can see the little, I can see the little line things like it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be ready to engage, but I can't. Oh, here we go. Prepare impulse. I understood. Plotting impulse course. It's about freaking time, Ensign Row. Oh, yeah, I just looked outside. You told me you could look outside. Awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, you haven't done that? We're ready to go. All right. No, it's for, I just make it so. It. There we go. Now we're moving. This big old bird. Oh yeah, look at the dry engines drive. Yeah. There. There we go. So, so what do you think about Oculus Home and the uh, flyover? Did it? Did yeah, it I, yeah, very cool. Very cool. Did it? Did it surprise you like it did me? <laughs> it did. I had no. idea. Well, okay. So people were like gabbing all over Reddit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, they changed Oculus Home to a Star Trek theme, and I jumped in there, and at first I didn't notice the star field in the outside, and I was thinking it was going to be like Oculus Home was the bridge, like, you know, where we are now, <laughs> and I'm like, they didn't change shit, and then I looked up, and I saw the star field, and then next thing I know, I started here, whoa, oh, red, red, red alert, alert. attacked by a Klingon bird, <laughs> red, 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 red alert, it... no, red, where's my red alert, okay, Oh shit, my panel's on fire. Ah! <laughs> on the torpedoes, throw everything at them. Just, just go, do stuff. Y'all. Target's closing on an attack vector. Yeah, that's, that's shield that's, race. Yeah, uh, um, shield's uh, on, okay, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, I called red alert. That should bring up the shields. All right. Let's, okay, are we within uh, range of targets? Let me target. I have target. 
Um, I don't know if the target's in range. I'm gonna fire it. Torpedo is firing. Yeah. Uh, fire. Fire. Torpedo To half speed. I'm firing something. I'm giving. Oh shit! Is it not? T is it not actually shooting? No, no, you're getting oh, them. That's us. You're getting them. Oh yeah, we've we've taken damage. We got. I see one. the top of the ship has got some damage. Okay, hold on. Let me go ahead and get a target view going here. So while my my lights and my torpedoes are flashing, the means they're re not ready yet. Phaser's ready. Scotty, I need more power. Yeah, we need to get some power. Um. There we go. Power to phasers. Power to phasers. All right, I don't know if the torpedoes are ready or not. They're still flashing. Huh, it won't let me magnify target or do the target view. Torpedoes are not ready. Oh, I think okay. they take longer to charge. And how do you know how many you have? I, I have no count for torpedoes. To I have no idea. We just have however many. <laughs> I can't change. Is our target any... running? Yes. I think our target's running, Captain. Target is fleeing. It didn't want no more than the Enterprise. Oh, wait, is it coming back around? She's coming back around. Entering the anomaly. Detected. All right. It's not. We're, we're closing on it. We're closing. I'm going to. I'm going to. Damn, and see if we can disrupt it. I'm firing phasers. Fire phasers. Torpedoes. Torpedoes still aren't ready. I think we have to plan it to get torpedoes to work. Oh, you got it, though. Nice. Oh, that's cool. It actually broke into pieces. You can see it's warp nacelles flying. Okay, I'm looking. Okay. I guess I missed the animation. Bummer. Um, so, so the torpedoes aren't available. They won't arm. And I don't know why. Um, that's probably because... Hold on. Let me take over engineering here. Is there a problem with the torpedo bay? <laughs> we need to send a crew member out. Engine power. Yeah, actually, is there, an in, is, is there an intern on the ship, Captain? <laughs> right. Um. Oh, this is cool in engineering, though. Yeah, you have like a whole buttload of knobs. Well, it's weird because you're not facing the view screen. It, it is very. Uh, Isolating. <laughs> okay, no, no, I will say for for just just right now, just jumping over here to the engineering section, I actually got a tiny bit of presence for a second. Nice. And, I, and I think it's because I was just facing the console here. Um, yeah, okay. But yeah, I don't see anywhere where you can actually change or arm photons here, so. I, I have the option to arm, but it doesn't. It doesn't work. Hmm. And they just flash, so I'm not sure why, unless they're damaged. Okay, well, you know, I was pretty damn sure. Oh, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, our shields are lowered. Why are our shields lowered? Um, okay, okay. Well, we got no target, so I'm going to go ahead and take us out of red alert. Shouldn't the shields be raisable regardless? Shields raised, okay. There we go. Okay, they're raised to begin with. It's just not on the board up there. There we go. Okay. So I'm not sure how I know shields are raised. It must be this big red button. This probably. big red light. Uh, probably. Red button, red light. It must be it. <laughs> the way we're playing yeah. this, they need to do like a uh, Galaxy Quest mod for this. <laughs> <laughs> Aim the ship at that thing and shoot at it. <laughs> I... I'm gonna have to make this like my my next game to play for the next year or something to get this down. Yeah, I'm telling next you. Next month. Practice sessions. Okay, so we got nothing here but anomalies. Um, so let me go ahead and pull up our impulse map. Okay. 
exiting the anomaly. I can't scan. I can't select. What? Okay. All right. Hold on. Let's go. Let's go to Devon, which I think we were already there. All right, I'm gonna try the helm to see how bad it looks. It didn't look too bad. Of course, not actually having a uh, lever or controls left to move is kind of weird. Just having buttons. Okay, you're at helm now? I'm at helm. Warp coils ready. Charged. Are we ready to warp? Yes. How do I... How do I know if I'm lined properly? <laughs> uh, that I don't know, sir. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Warp map. And we're in, well, where's, my, where's my local map? Where's my heading? I think we're already in Devon. Must Devin. be right, right there. I think we're already in Devon. So maybe it won't let us warp. I don't know. No course plotted. No course plotted for warp, sir. Yeah. Cancel that. Belay that order. Charge is about to dissipate. Yeah, let it dissipate. Okay, so I can I can select course as well. I lowering shield. Oh. It just buzzed me. <laughs> well, but see we want to be in Devon. So we want to, and we're already. So are we? In, we're already in Devon. Impulse map. So we're in Devon. Yeah, exactly. Outer Devon. We can't get next to. Uh, it just says that we want the left to. Of the ship. Do we have to manually fly there? Yeah, I don't think so. We shouldn't have to. Yeah, I've pretty much lost the ability to do anything in the captain's chair, too. All I can do is exterior view, magnify target, and accept hail. All right, let me go back to tactical. You want to try helm and see if you can get it to go anywhere? Oh, yeah. What's okay, we're moving forward. I was going to say we're moving. Why are we moving? Because I, I left the job. Okay, we, wasn't, okay. we, we weren't previously moving. Okay, see the little exclamation point on the map? Yeah, I couldn't get it as a selectable destination. Exactly. And I think that's where we're supposed to be. So go to let's go to Outer Devon Station. All right, Outer Devon Station. Okay, and we'll need to impulse there. Engaging impulse, if it'll let me. Nope. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me take over. Uh, where's prepare impulse? See, all I've got is warp. I don't have any. Yeah, this is oh, shit. this is definitely challenging. Outer Devon Station is current location. Devon still at orbit. Yeah, because yeah. I mean we haven't completed any of our objectives for this mission, and what it was travel to the Devon region. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Select this. Select destination. Hey, there you go. Where's the calculus? All right, go there. Yay! Yes. Yes. Victory. So it was a, it was an extra manual step. Okay. You have to select it twice. You have to find it, then select it, then engage it. Imagine that. I'm gonna get a little check on the time here. Oh crap, it's almost midnight. Captain, we've been detected. 
Uh oh. <laughs> oh crap, red alert. Alright. Danger music's engaged. Alright, targeting. We have a warbird out of range. Okay. We have a science vessel out of range. Close a distance. D5 cruiser out of range. Close distance on the D5 cruiser. It's a bigger threat. D5 cruiser. Okay. Still out of range. Oh boy. I need to boost shields. Get over there. See if I can get power to shields. New contact. One hostile. Oh no, our shields damage. Let's see. Shield emitters 96%. It's sparking! <laughs> ah. Oh jeez! This is not good. Uh, no. No sir, it's not. Oh no. We have a warp core breach! We have lost shields! We've lost shields! Why have we lost shields, Tanar? Uh, um, Let me take over. Alright, I got the, oh, I got the shields too. back up. We are gonna die. <laughs> That's okay. It's been fun. It's been fun flying with you, Captain. Perhaps it is a good day to die. <laughs> Where's the bird? Entering the Oh, jeez. What is? What's shooting us? Can't seem to get any sort of tactical map up. I've got the shields maxed out. Power divert shields. There we go. Let's see if that helps. There we go. Hi, Captain. New target locked. Engaging target. All right, I found the torpedoes. All right. Oh, she's rattling our tail. Yeah, she is. Oh boy. Okay. See if I can lower our power to uh, shields and raise phasers. Raise phasers? <laughs> raise phasers. Ra raise the phasers. Fire the shields. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw everything we've got at it. Hey, hey. Eject engine row and throw them at the D5. <laughs> Shoot them out of a torpedo tube. <laughs> Guys, that pissing works. me off. Uh, 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 oh. Oh. We are taking damage. Hi, staying with Captain, you're just in time. Our life support's dwindling rapidly. Uh, yeah, well, we got problems of our own here, bud, so <laughs> you're gonna have to hold your britches. Keep your panties on. Man, when this sparks and, and some smoke in front of me, this is definitely, uh, that's what I'm freaky. That's what I'm saying, man. I was getting some presents over there. Sheesh. Alright, I'm gonna go to uh Our warp core is critical. Oh no. We're about to have a warp core breach. Alright, let me see if I can do anything on repair. Hi I captain. Target selected. I got a repair crew assigned to it. I don't know if that'll help. Okay. Alright, they're helping it. It's going up. 
Got five. Oh, they're firing photons. Brace for impact. Oh boy. We really need an engineer in here with this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we were destroyed. It's cutscene. What yeah. happened? Uh, cause we died and, and stuff. So All right. It, just, it, it ran off. <laughs> no, dude, uh, we, we, we 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 failed. We we got destroyed it, and like we failed. We're like dead and stuff. We, we never actually found anything with the scan with survivors. Sean, we didn't do shit. <laughs> we, all we did was punch like light bright jewels and try to figure out what the hell's going on like time warping back to the 60s and stuff so okay loved the bridge loved being in that environment but man let me tell you that was, that was difficult <laughs> oh my god i'll take the aegis over the original enterprise any day so but you know ben I got work at 6.30 in the morning. It is midnight here now, so I think I am going to yes, go sir. ahead and sign off for the night. But thank you so much for coming by and playing, man. we got to do this again. Get a couple of other guys All in right. here and get a full crew Heck of yeah. four. But, uh, you know, as always, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, if you made it to the end of the video, you guys know that means the world to me. And, uh, you know, if this is your first time coming by the channel tonight, thank you so much for coming by and checking out what I do here. Uh, if you want to see more great VR content, head over to my main page, man. Take a look through my videos. Hit up my sidebar. See what... Sad Gamer Dad and the rest of my friends, the VR spies, all my VR buddies out here on YouTube are doing. And if you like what you saw, smash that subscribe button down there. Come along with us the next time we man a starship or press light brights and get our ass kicked in the old Enterprise. I, <laughs> Yeah, you know, I don't know. And and and, and if you haven't already, we I'm gonna throw a link to his channel in the description. Go check out Sad Gamer Dad's channel, man. He's doing some great Woo! stuff over Thank there. Thank you, man. So, for me tonight, guys, yeah. that's going to do it. This is VR Gamer Dude, signing off, y'all. Peace.